We achieved level 99 fishing. We looted 7,899 reward permits, getting the tiny temper. Hey guys and welcome to episode 4. In this episode, we're going to get 99 fire making. This won't take too long as experience rates in Wintertop are ridiculous, but before we get into the episode, I want to thank our sponsor. It's me. I'm the sponsor. Did you, did you really think I'd have a sponsor with 97 subscribers? <laughs> but really, I just wanted to thank everyone for the massive support I've received lately. It really does mean the world to me. Uh, if you want to support me or continue to support me, like the video, drop the comment, and subscribe, motherfucker. If you don't like my videos or didn't like a specific video, please feel free to dislike the video and comment why you didn't like it. It'll help me grow as a content creator and help me create higher quality videos. But with all that being said, let's uh let's get right back into the video. Alright guys, so before we start woodcutting and getting the stats for Winter Todd, we're going to build a Menagree. That way there we can uh, have a our cat in a, a safe place and uh, our tiny temper in a safe place too. Uh, that's Obviously we can't insure the cat and we're going to need it for quests. And the tiny temper, well if I die uninsured with that, I would be very sad. Alright and here we go. Now we have a little home for both our kitten and our... Our pet fish or the tiny temper whatever you would like to call this guy and uh yeah it's pretty cool uh but i'm actually gonna take my tiny temper for now i wanna i wanna woodcut with it flex it a little bit while i can so yeah uh, it's time to woodcut and get the stats for winter top 35 woodcutting 40 woodcutting 45 woodcutting 40 fire making, 45 fire making, 50 fire making. Now we have all the stats to do winter top. Uh, there's a couple other things we need to get now. Uh, one of those things being uh, four pieces of warm clothing. So let's go get those. All right guys, so we're taking a detour from uh, going immediately for warm clothing. I decided I want to get 15 hunter, that way there we can get a uh, um, 100% Piscolarius favor, so we can fish angler fish. Now that's not useful in the account right now, but if we start lagging or if there's like a thunderstorm on its way, I want to have some sort of safe activity to do instead of doing the winter top. So let's do it. All right, guys, and that's 11 hunter. Now I'm going to complete the client of Karen quest and use the XP lamps on hunter. Doing that will uh, give us 15 hunter exactly, and it'll also get us 20% favor in fiscal areas. Then all we have to do is hunt sandworms to 100% favor. All right, client of Karend is complete. So now let's use our certificate on fiscal areas. And then Let's also use my XP lamp on Hunter. Oh, sorry, we have two of them. Alright, and doing this gives us level 15 Hunter. So, let's go, uh... Let's go get 100% Pisk favor. Alright, so we're in the area, so I also decided to complete the Queen of Thieves quest. It just gave us extra favor, so... Why not? Well, the clip of me getting 100% favor got corrupted, unfortunately. But, you can believe me, I got 100% favor. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to fish these anglerfish, baby. 
Hell yeah. Alright, back to the mission at hand, and now we have gloves and boots. So this will be two out of four of our warm items. Alright guys, so we just dig in this area of Zaya, and boom! There is a clue hunter garb. That's our final piece of warm clothing. We also got a rainbow scarf from Draenor Village earlier. So let's go to the winter side now, baby. All right, guys, and that's 55 fire making at the winter top. All right, and that's our first inventory done. Uh, we're going to open up the crates after every inventory until we get full pyromancer. Once we get full pyromancer, we'll uh, we'll save all the crates. But I mean, we're unlucky here. We did get uh, burnt pages, new collection lock slot, which is pretty cool. 60 fire making. All right, we got another opening here, and we got uh, oh, we got the broom and torch. Beautiful. We can uh, we can use that as a tinder box now. Seventy fire making. Sixty nine construction. All right, we have thirteen crates here. Let's open them. Oh, we got warm gloves, boys. Hell yeah. Let's not upgrade over uh, Clue and Close. They don't actually do anything. They're uh, cosmetic and count as um, warm clothing. But yeah, that's cool. All right, guys, and that's level 75 fire making. 100 KC. All right, another unboxing. Give me the tome, baby. Give me the tome. Uh, one more. Oh! Hey, we got the garb. Nice. Hell yeah. 80 fire making. All right, another opening. Let's see if we get anything. Ooh, beautiful. Pyromancer hood. Hell yeah. Level 85. All right, and we have another opening, boys. Let's see, uh, let's see what we got. Hmm. Not shit, huh? Oh! Hey! Last one! Pyromancer uh, robe! Hell yeah, that's awesome! You look like an animal now. Alright, 200 KC. Alright, another inventory. Let's see what we get, boys. Oh my god, we got Pyromancer boots. Hell yeah! Woo, baby! Yes! Okay, we got full Pyromancer now. So we're going to store every single crate until we get 99. Beautiful. 90 fire megan. 91 fire megan. 300 KC. Well, we just missed a level, but that's halfway to 99, level 92. Well, missing levels back to back, but we just got level 70 construction, which is a massive milestone. 93 fire making. 94 fire making. 400 KC. 95 fire making. 96 fire making. Uh, level 97 fire making, baby. 500 KC. 98 fire making. One more level to go, boys. Alright, guys. And after 40 hours of hard work, we are now level 99 fire making. It feels great, man, to finally have a trimmed cape. Hell yeah. Let's go get it. Alright guys, let's talk to Ignatius Vulcan and let's get our fire cape. Can I help you? Yeah. Let me uh, let me buy this, uh, the fire making skull cape, please. 99k? Yeah, give it to me. Give it to me. Ooh, that looks so good, baby. Hell yeah. I love it. I actually love it. Oh my god. Let's see the, the emote. Ah, it looks clean. It looks really clean, man. Fuck yeah. All right, well, let's go. Uh, let's go loot all the boxes now, baby. 
All right, guys, and before we loot the boxes, I actually want to do the witch's house for higher HP. And then I want to mine sandstone in the desert. Um, the reason I want to do witch's house first is because if for whatever reason we run out of water skins, we get hit by desert heat, it can actually hit up to a 10 and I would, uh, I would just die. And obviously we don't want that in a hardcore Iron Man, so... Figured get some HP wouldn't hurt, so let's do it. All right, and that's Witch's House completed, and now we have level 24 hit points. Hell yeah, let's get the mining, baby. All right, fast forward a little bit. Uh, I thought it'd be boring to watch me mine sandstone, so there we go. We're 54 mining, and uh, we mined 10,000 buckets of sand. So. Uh, let's get on with the crate opening now. Alright, and what you guys see now is just a sped up couple of clips of me opening the supply crates. Unfortunately, the crates didn't really give me anything good at all. I mean, I got some duplicate biromancer pieces, some torso seeds, some magic seeds, but that was about it. I didn't really get anything special, anything exciting, anything worth uh, mentioning. Uh, no Toma Fire, no Phoenix, no Dragon Axe. All things that would have been nice to get, but yeah. Uh, so I guess I'll show you guys the total price check of most of the loot. I, I also should say this too, before I do that. It was incredibly difficult to track all of the loot. I just kind of put like an estimate of what it was. So let me show you guys up. Alright guys, and here's the first inventory of loot from Wintertop. And it comes out to be about 4 mil. A lot of money from seeds, pretty much most of the money from seeds. And here's the second inventory of our loot from Wintertop. A lot of loot from, uh, or most of the value comes from burnt pages here, it seems like. Alright guys, and that's gonna wrap up episode... Four. So in this episode, we set out for one particular goal, and that was to get 99 fire making, and we got it. So, beautiful, right? Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the Tome, Phoenix, or Dragon Axe, but it's okay. Since we didn't get the Phoenix, we're definitely going to be back at Wintertot every now and then, just to try to get it. Um, some things I didn't include in the, the video, or clips I didn't include in the video, were levels such as 65 woodcutting, 67 fletching, and 13 farming. Oh, and uh, 72 construction. Um, unfortunately, we were hit by a tropical storm Elsa, and uh, I lost power a few times. Whenever I would hear thunder, I would just hop off of RuneScape because, you know, I don't have a rune alive, and I don't want to disconnect and die at winter top because that would be an awful way to go especially after getting 99 fishing so um we got 100 percent assidious favor we used some of our planks from the temporos to get 72 construction and we even started mining sandstone before the clips you guys originally saw so okay that's gonna wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed um, if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, the next video won't be out for quite a while. Um, we're going to be focusing on using all of my supplies from Temporos, and that is going to take a while, probably a couple of weeks. So keep an eye out, and I'll catch you guys then. Peace.